as you may have noticed from my previous videos, I really like to build moving mechanisms. Unfortunately, Space Engineers has many limitations in that regard, so I decided to create a simple script to work around them. You can find it on the Steam Workshop along with an in-depth guide on how to use it. In this video, I will walk you through a simple example of animating a robotic arm. Let's begin by setting our programmable block to display text, so the script can show us the progress of our animation. As you can see, we already have a few hinges to play with, the elbow, hand and shoulder joints. We will let the script automatically record the movements by triggering it with the record argument. Once we position our hinges where they need to be, we will need to trigger the record steps argument to capture their positions. Then we will save the animation mode with the recording done argument. And finally, to refresh the animation after performing any manual changes, we are going to need the setup argument. Let's begin the recording by pressing number 3. And let's start our animation by moving the hinges to their desired positions. Keep in mind that the velocity will be captured, but the direction of movement will be automatically determined by the script. Press number 4 to capture the current position of hinges and then continue with the next animation step. Capture the steps again by pressing 4 and save the animation by pressing 5. We can now see all of the captured steps in the custom data of our programmable block. Let's set the trigger to forward input and make the animation mode repeat. While we're at it, we can clean up some of the values. Let's also manually add another animation mode to stop the arm from moving when no input is detected. And now we can press 7 to reset the animation and test it out. We can add some other moving blocks like pistons and rotors to make it more interesting.
The script also allows us to toggle any components we like and to lock and unlock landing gears. We can record the animation again, but keep in mind the steps we recorded previously will be overwritten. And now we have a complete animation. I hope this tutorial was helpful and thanks to everyone who pointed out the volume issues on the last one. And if you ever use my script for any of your blueprints, please ping me a comment, I would love to see them.